They put lime on the flesh. I don't think it tastes too much to turn into bones. We're in the tropics. And then after that, they put the customs there. Then they took out the bones and put them in a bone trough at the end, called an ajou. And everybody was mixed up. I think it's good. It's all sacred. It's good. So with that, in 1944, the same brief, nice men put in a floor and add some cement sculptures, and they inadvertently turned it into a Maya prayer area. The Mayas come from all over the country for special ceremonies, and the Mayas have been praying underground, well, in caves, for probably 6,000 years plus. They have the same sacred fires, with red candles for the sunrise, black for the sunset, yellow for the sun, white for the wind. When they cross themselves, it's a Maya cross, which is not a Christian cross. And that's a balance between man and woman, heart and mind, material and spiritual, the four directions and more. In the center, of sacred fires, they have green candles for Mother Earth, blue for the water in the sky, and large greasy candles for the ancestors. So it has nothing to do with Christianity. So this syncretism, I don't see in Antigua, and you will certainly see it in Maya communities to a certain extent, although some places are more Maya than Christian. We misunderstand different cultures. So when I went to my first Maya ceremony 20 years ago, I was looking for Christian influence, because that's what we were taught. At college, and we were supposed to identify it and pull it out, and it turned. So I went to our ceremony, and there was no nothing Christian. And then she got disappointed, and then she crossed herself. And I said, "Well, that's a Christian cross." She said, "No, it's a Maya cross." The Maya cross had not been written down anywhere 20 years ago. When I saw the Mayas put coins in boxes in the church, another you know, crayon, light, light a candle, and put coins, and I was sure it was indulgences. You know, money for hotels. No, the Mayans did not have metal before the Spanish came. They had jade for immortality. They believe that metal holds prayer energy. It's not a money thing, it's a metal thing. Having said that, you'll see paper money just thrown in. And then the biggest misunderstanding was it was going to be the end of the year, the end of the world in 2012. So as we got closer, you know, we went to the Maya shamans and said, what is it? Because it's a circular calendar, so I, I guess you really fell off the planet or something. We were asking, you know, what, what's going on? I said, no, it's not the end of the world. It's the end of a cycle, 5,125 years. And what happens when we get a new one? So we should be up and running. So Guatemala did not market the end of the world. Mexico made $15 billion on it. We chose not to. I think we were a bit afraid. Um, we chose to learn more about the Mayas. A whole bunch of information on the internet now. I'm sure the cross is all there, the fires and so forth. We didn't have that before. So the country learned more about half of its population at that time. And if you'd like to go down.